Hello, you guys. So today, I have to ship. <laughs> um, so these are my sales on Poshmark and from Posh Shows. Let me turn this down here. Um, Poshmark and Posh Shows from, let me look at my calendar. I know it's the last three shows that I did. So I had a show on Thursday the 8th, Friday the 9th. Um, Saturday I took off and then Sunday uh, the 11th, which was yesterday at this point, which is why I look like a mess. <laughs> that one was a, a pretty big show. I sold about 100 items in that. And then I think on Thursday and Friday, between the two, I think I sold around 50 items. Um, and then, of course, I had uh, closet sales, too. I accepted a lot of orders this week, or uh, orders, offers. My gosh, you guys, it is Monday morning. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I um, am going to try to do some of these that are... Um, Let's see, just the normal orders first. All right, first up, this sold, this was an Everlane, men's Everlane vest, new without tag condition. During my shows while I'm live, I, uh, um, if people wanna shop with me, they do get 40% off of anything in my closet um, or in the store that I have um, currently while I'm doing the show, it's all the same stuff. Um, so somebody took me up on that and I had this originally in my closet for 66. Or I, I guess I'm, I've probably started around 75, marked it down to 66, 70, um, took me up on the 40% off. So this sold for $39, which this is a good time for it to sell too. So um, men's size medium Everlane. Oh, I, I switched over my clear poly bags to the perforated ones to save money. Big mistake. Don't recommend. <laughs> I'm used to having, I usually pay up a little bit more for some. I know some people don't even do this, but um there we go. See? Oh, see, it completely ripped. What a pain in the ass. Okay. Well, this video is already going off a great start. You know what? I'm probably just going to put it in a poly bag and then put it in another poly bag. Anyways, I don't recommend the perforated ones. That's what you get for getting a little bit cheap. <laughs> I know some people don't even do them, so that is, it is what it is, right? Okay. I do just write thank you on my um, packing slips. So I do send out packing slips with my orders just so everybody knows what they are getting. I am gonna double bag this though, just because I didn't put it in a clear bag. The reason I like to double bag, whether it's a clear bag or poly bag, um, it's just in case it rips, it doesn't get damaged. That one, good to go. All right, next up, my trash, my hanging. So this is my makeshift shipping. I started doing all my shows down in the basement. Um, it's still being renovated right now. It's a mess, but whatever. This is my pop-up little block table. It's very rickety. Don't recommend. I mean, it's good for a little pop-up table. I think it was maybe 20 bucks back in the day on, um, uh, what you do on, oh my gosh, on Walmart. I probably got it from Walmart. <laughs> um, next up, these are not your daughter's jeans. Not your daughter's jeans. These are Barbara boot cuts. I already have them folded nicely. So we're going to leave it as such. Um, I actually got those listed the same day or the day. Uh, I got these listed over the weekend and then they sold in my show yesterday. The buyer took advantage of my 40% off while I'm live. I had them listed for 50 and so they scored them for $30, which is a great um, sale. Um, I did get those cost of good on this was about three dollars so I don't have those numbers right in front of me but I have a pretty good memory alrighty Do -do -do. these were just some single orders all right next up is a bolo for both the not necessarily the brand but more of the style I'll show you here in just a second Mm -mm -mm. All right, that one's done. So this one is, um, the style is a bolo. It's an exercise dress. This one was from Outdoor Voices. Somebody purchased it from me outright. I listed it for 60 and somebody purchased it outright for that 60. Um, you can usually expect to get anywhere from like, depending on the brand, anywhere from like 30 to 60, 70, $80. But exercise dresses, activewear dresses are super in right now. So it's like a dress, but then it has a um, little 
it's like a romper if you will. like it has these shorts underneath and they have pockets so anyways outdoor voices has the exercise dress i know girlfriend collective has um their own version of this i'm sure lululemon does i don't know the style off the top of my head but that was an excellent condition got that for five dollars um it sold for 60. thank you with a little heart how cute okay i feel like i know i don't have to do it i know i know it slows down the shipping process a little bit but i like to add the personal touch <laughs> I like it, but other than that, short and sweet. Anyways, um, I don't recommend those perforated poly mailers, uh, not poly mailers, the clear bags. I usually order from Eco and Clothes, but I was being cheap the last time I ordered. But when I get more the clear bags, I will order again from Eco and Clothes. Okay. Oh, those little clear things are so annoying. All right, next up, these are some, these were the Lululemon on the fly, uh, wide leg pants, wide leg, like jeans and active wear pant, like anything wide leg right now, I would say is like a bolo style. Um, these sold to a, um, uh, a regular, she's actually a part of our Patreon group over at the live five. Um, her name is Nicole. So thank you, Nicole. If you're watching, I think you watch my, my videos. So thank you. Um, she got these, um, she scored them for the 40% off while I'm live. So I did have them listed, whatever 40% more or 46 was, but anyway, she scored them for 46 was eight, which was a still a steal of a deal. And they are a size 10. Aren't these cool? Lululemon. Where is my lint roller? Here we go. So wide leg, and I'll show you the next order too. Um, had another pair of wide leg in there, but I'm sure you guys know Lululemon is fantastic. You can look at that style dot, that sty style dot, the size dot, and it will have the style number in there. Just type that into Lulu Fanatics, and you'll get your style and stock photos if you utilize those, which I do. Um, and I listed these, I think either the same day that she purchased them or the, the night previously. So that was a quick flip. I'm not surprised by that. I was um, expecting it to sell very quickly. Mm, all right, dogs barking. Let's see if I can package this up. All right, and that one is done. Let's see, next up was a three piece order. We had, these Nike Air Force Ones. Those are so cool. I would say that these are, I think I said they were like new without tag, new without box condition. They still have like the stuffing and the um, shaping in there. Um, so I um, did accept a bundle offer on this. Let me pull this up just because the packing slips don't actually show the what it sold for in the bundle but it does show what i originally listed everything for so let me look at this real quick so yeah i accepted a 135 dollar offer on this three-piece bundle with it originally being priced um, a lot of these are like brand new listings to my closet so they all sold relatively quickly so i originally had a uh, price at 197 and then i accepted 135 so that was a little less than 30 percent off of my asking price so i was happy to accept that and that was um somebody that shot with me live before so she got the air force ones and then we got these free people the wide leg pants like i said wide leg is a bolo and then she also got these aloe yoga bolo uh brand in and of itself it sells like hot cakes <laughs> aloe yoga and these were some wide leg pants so i had these originally listed for a hundred and i would assume that even if you had these you should be able to get them anywhere from like 60 to 100 dollars um on that so i was happy with that bundle Thank you. Three piece for 135. What is that? 45 ish bucks per item. Um, let me put this in this bag. Grabbed a large flat, right? Put that in there for now. Ooh, got an offer. Let's see what we got. I think it's on a men's Taylor Bird. Just got this offer in. Listed at 89. And they're asking 50. I think that's nice and reasonable. My cost of get on that was $5. So let's accept it. The momentum going for the day. Mm, sweet. And we're accepted. All right. Well, I will get that shipped out later. 
as well. I'm um, really just on, I'm kind of on a time crunch right now. Uh, sorry, my dog is playing in my Ikea bags. One of my dogs. Kind of on a time crunch. I do have another show today. It is a name your price show, um, but it's active wear. And um, that'll be over 100 items as well. The rack is the one right behind this one. This is all sold from these last three shows. But I'm really just doing an hour worth of shipping, um, seeing what I can get done. And then I got to finish preparing for the show. All right, we're going to put these in plastic just because just in case something happens to the box. I did reuse this box too. I love to reuse boxes when I can. Sweet. All right, that one is good to go. All right, I'm not going to do obviously all. I mean, this is... I have all of this to ship. That would take me forever. I probably need to hire help with my business, but I have not yet. <laughs> I'm going to ship these next. Um, these are a collaboration. A lot of collaborative pieces are always, um, they're at least uh, something that you should look up when out and about. These ones I actually got uh, shipped to my house in a thread up shoe box. These are vans in collaboration with the museum of modern art these are really cool i had them listed originally for i think 100 but then i marked them down to 90 and then somebody offered me actually i marked them down to 85 and then somebody offered me 60 bucks and i happily accepted that um i could have held out a little bit longer on them but i'm in the business of moving items <laughs> okay okay all right so that was a good one um i think the cost of good on that one um normally the shoes are i think one around around seven or eight bucks but i had enough credit where my shoe box was free so technically i didn't really pay anything on those I'm gonna look out for any sort of collaboration especially any uh museum of modern art vans pretty cool all right, next up, this one is a little dainty author. This one is a bra. This is from, this is a Bolo bra brand. Um, that's hard to say, a Bolo bra brand. <laughs> um, this is Cup. They do a lot of dainty, scandalous bras. <laughs> um, anyways, they, this is like a solid, um, depending on condition, but usually a solid like between 20 to $35 uh, flip. And of course this weighs literally nothing. So, um, and I, this brand does do well on both Poshmark and on eBay, but this sold of course on Poshmark for me. I'm just now getting back into eBay, but so far I have made pretty decent sales. Granted, like with just coming back, um, I've been averaging like around 500 bucks a month for the last few months. Uh, a lot of my higher higher ticket items are selling, so not a whole lot of um, volume over there, but I am, I have consistently made about 500 bucks a month, so that's been nice. Just an extra little thing to add back in. I can do a whole video on that. I just kind of adjusted my expectations with it, so that could be for a few, maybe like a what sold video. Um, but anyways, that sold for $25. So I think I had it listed at, oof, I think I had it listed at 32 Somebody offered me 25, so I happily accepted that. This is why I don't typically film a lot of ship with me, is so because I do them in the morning when I'm not ready for the day. And the luxury of working for yourself. I usually don't get ready until like midday, which is almost midday. So, anyways, all right, this next one uh, is a uh, Ted Baker dress. Uh, I accepted an offer for $29 on this one. Uh, the size tag was removed, so I did have to measure it, but it was measuring as a roughly a size medium. I did have this overpriced for a while. Um, when I initially listed it, Ted Baker had uh, pretty good comps, but once I, it came time to relist this, I lowered the price 
Um, I think I had it, originally had it listed for like $75 or something, but I um, adjusted the price down to 40 and then somebody sent me a $29 offer and then it sold. And I, I only had $2 into it, so it's still a good flip, but pricing does matter. It helps to get your items moving a whole lot quicker in the range that it's supposed to be in. So just a reminder to double check the current the current market on things. And that one is good to go. All of this trash. All right, let's see what else we have over here. Whoops. This is just a J. Jill tunic top. It was a knit in a very spring color. Um, somebody took advantage of my 40% off while I was live. I think I had it at originally like 20 bucks then I dropped it down to 15 and then I dropped it for a closet clear out that same day for 13 and I didn't really care so I, I let somebody take it for seven dollars <laughs> I'm gonna set this aside just for one day just because I think she asked to hold through to today's show but if not it'll it'll go out tomorrow after afternoon so not the you know best flip I, I mean I still profited I still doubled my money you know, I got it for like a dollar fifty but J. Jill can be bread and butter, just kind of depending on the item. All right, now we're heading into some of some uh, some of the show items, but um, they did bundle something from my most recent thrift with me and haul video. She got it same day that I listed it. This was the vintage grandpa sweater I got in my most recent haul. We also got this pole sweater from one of my shows and scored it for $15. Pull is like a boutique brand, um, but it does do pretty well. Um, this was a show where everything started at $15. Um, so she was the only one to bid on it. So she scored it. Such a cute sweater though. I like the tan and the navy. Um, and then of course she got that vintage grandpa sweater um, and she scored this, the vintage sweater for 27 and then the pole for 15. I'm so excited we're going into sweater season again. Sweaters, jackets, coats, they're just more substantial categories where you're going to get more, more value for your investment versus like spring and summer items like little lightweight blouses and dresses. So I think that's another reason why the summer is much slower for most people. And you can use these on Poshmark. I'm sure everybody knows, but you can use any free boxes for Poshmark orders. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of cardboard so she doesn't cut into her sweater. Just going to kind of try to take that in place too. Okay. I need to move my, my actual, I need to move my actual shipping table down here, the one where I stand up and ship, but I just use this during my shows and the majority of my items to ship out are um, here downstairs. So I decided to do my shipping down here today. Okay, I think I'm just gonna ship out one more order just for um, today's video. This one was a eight item order and the total was $152. A lot of these are just show items, but she also added in this Lululemon um, bra the air support bra for $39. I had that listed same day and she added it. She's a regular of mine. So she did add that Lululemon bra. Lululemon bras are great. This was a uh, 34 triple D. So she did add that 417, 418, 421, and 422. So 417 was this J. Crew like blue the lore button front um it is a newer newer tag j crew size large sold for 19 dollars in my posh show need to lint roll just a little bit let me just pull the rest of these 418 418 this one was a chico's silk blend sweater we had a made, uh, the Chico sold for 15. We have this Madewell sweater that sold for 19. And then Abercrombie and Fitch flannel 
sold for 15 a lands in one button blazer sold for 15 these were some newest tag soma pajama pants also sold for 15 dollars and then last but not least she also added in this meadow rue anthropology blouse for 15 dollars so i'm gonna get these packaged up All right, got that order all packaged shut. So now putting it in my massive 24 by 24 um, bag. And we are right at five pounds. So we are good to go for this order. And I think that's gonna conclude today's, I guess, uh, kind of like a wet sold ship with me. Um, obviously I, it would take probably two hours for me to do all of it. <laughs> I don't think everybody's interested in a two hour long video. I do have all of these packages to go and drop off from those three shows and my closet sales over the weekend. I did uh, make $2,009 in sales, 151 items divided by 151. So my ASP um, over the weekend, which is pretty normal for um, live shows was 1330. The majority of those were um, live show um, sales. So. Thank you so much for joining. Um, if I have time, I'll maybe I'll do another uh, quick little ship with me. And by little, I mean probably another 30, 40 minutes or so um, before I need to take a break. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button on the way out and subscribe if you would like to watch more videos. And I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.